Hello everybody, it's me, Glitchy Game Please, and we're back in better Minecraft uh, 1.19. Um, and I am wearing my Santa hat and my ugly sweater of a penguin. Very cute, very cute, look at him, look at him, he's just sitting there, the arms out, he's very cute. Um, but yeah, we're back, and uh, I think uh, we're gonna, after doing a little bit of exploring in the last episode, I think we're gonna kind of settle down and relax and uh, kind of start actually making our little base, our little home. Um, now, actually, now, now that I say that, I do want to go look at that. I want to go look at that first, this little cabin. Um, I want to go look at this uh, just because I want to see what it is. And if someone lives here, how can you not? Okay, yeesh. Oh, I know, I know this place. This is the, uh, the Blue Skies mod. Um, yeah, like the in inscriber? Isn't that what it is? The gatekeeper. I don't want to say inscriber. Um, I could actually go get the, I do have books, so I probably could get that from him. He's got one here. Why don't we go ahead and do that? Um, hey, sir. Give me the blue journal. Yeah, quest complete. I have the blue journal. Cool. What else you got in here? Bud. Ooh, snow cap pin heads. Take those. And these. I'll take the paper and books and whatnot. Right, did I take that from Yeah. Cool. I like your place. I like your place, sir. Very nice, very pretty. Um, I will be taking those. Cool. Oh, wait, there is a, another upstairs. Yes, and that is the portal to the blue skies. So that'll be fun to try and get to. Um, as far as... There you go, there you are. I do need to get the zeal lighter. Um, if, I, when we end up going to the blue skies uh, dimension, um, or one of them, I will need the zeal lighter. Um, but, uh, we are, we're not... We are not prepared for any of the blue skies, uh, in any dimension uh, right now. We are, we're not prepared. We're not even ready for this one. So, whew. Um, oh, <gasps> I didn't know these were berries. What? I didn't know these were berries. Wild berries. Can I turn those into stuff? If so, what can I turn them into? A uh, bowl of wild berries. Gives you three hearts. That's actually not too bad. Need bowls for it though, but that's not too bad. Is there anything else I can turn into? Because I can do holiday fruit cake. Berry limeade. That actually sounds kind of good. Um, berry matcha latte. Uh, fruit salad. Uh, another berry limeade. And a wild berry juice. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's, oh, wait, jelly bottle, stuffed pumpkin, information on crafting, cool. I will hold on to these then. Uh, can I, can I replant them? You can, awesome. That is very cool. So the, they're pretty much the uh, equivalent of a sweet berry, but you don't, get hurt when you walk through them when they have berries. So that's kind of nice. Uh, and home. So we're going to do a little bit of uh, maintenance um, and some work around the house, uh, doing some cool little things around here, um, making it look all fancy and whatnot. Uh, I kind of want to keep as many of the foliage around as possible because it looks very nice. Um, also, chicken had a baby right there the other one no we got baby we got two chickens um so again uh let me know what you guys want the names to be i am recording this like right after i got done recording the other one so obviously i just haven't sent anything in so understandable but make sure to get a name for the chickens um and i will try to name them whenever i get some actual name tags but we are going to go through and some stuff in here first, and then we're gonna go, uh, like I said, do some taking care of, of this place. Do I have, I thought I had some cobblestone, right? Somewhere. 
I will organize all of this. I, I, I promise I will do it. Just right now, I am focused on getting food. I think, I think food is like the main objective right now. That, some fence posts, doing, doing two more. There we go, total of nine. Get some more. I did, I did collect um, a bunch of wood, as you can see. Um, I wanted to get a, uh, enough to start crafting some stuff and uh, doing a little bit of building. Um, so, I'm thinking... Doesn't have to be too crazy. Like that. No! Ah! <laughs> no! Gosh! Dang it! <laughs> I got rid of the tree. You know, maybe I'll get rid of this one too. Maybe? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll just get rid of it. Just get rid of it. I had a cool idea. We'll just keep that one there. I, I realized, it, so with these trees, whatever is connected to a bush, it will get rid of all of it. Is there a, there's a bear down there? That's fantastic. This. Something like that. Oh, I forgot diagonal fences. I forgot that they, uh, that that's a thing in this as well. That looks kind of nice. Um... Thing like that. Bam. And then we'll turn this into a small little garden. Um, but I'm gonna go to bed first. Wow! Lag. Thank you, everybody. Boop. Hit the hay first, and then we can uh, start planting a few crops. Um, I do want to have a small area that's strictly for, like, rice and then another one that's strictly for other things like uh cabbage one for potatoes carrots tomatoes like all that stuff and it's got green tea leaves excited for that mini melons anything else in here doesn't look like it what about down here we have a rice cabbage flax more sugar cane carrots sweet berries Wild berries. Is that everything? What happened to my my normal seeds? Did I not grab like just normal seeds? I did. I am just blind. I also have source berries. That's something we've got to plant down too. Um, I'm gonna make a bucket as well. I haven't, I haven't made a bucket yet. Like that. And we'll go down and grab some water. Um, I will say that's something I'm going to have to watch out for is uh, keeping the water from uh, freezing up. So we'll have to watch out for that. And let's see. Clear up most of this. Oh, Enderman, you scared me. Deeply, deeply scared me. Most of the stuff I'm going to replant. Um, I do know of a way to kind of get past... Oh, keep that closed. If you take uh, a trap door... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, actually, yeah, take a trap door. Because um, this is 1. 1. 1.19, so you can still waterlog things in here. So I'm going to do that. Um, sure that we're in a good spot. So 1, 2, 3, 4... Right here, one, two, three, four. So right here is a good spot for that. And our switch trap door, boop. And now it won't freeze. And we could just walk right over it. So we'll keep it like that. Um, and this will be where we plant 
kind of a mixture of things. Like, I do want to have a uh, set area for things later, um, especially for, like, rice. Obviously, that needs to be planted in water. But for here, I want to have... Everything can be kind of put together. I assume these can just plant it, right? Or is there actually, like, a green tea, like... Green tea leaves, green tea cookie, green tea, and that. Green tea leaves. What is that used for? What is that used for? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, cool. So you can make matcha. So that's the green tea powder. Cooking it. You can also put it into the coconut curry, green tea, azalea tea, dandelion tea. Okay, that's that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. That, that, rice will have to wait. Cool. Uh, and we'll just No, I kind of like how that looks. So keep it like that, and then we'll let's do cabbage. We've got flax strewn about. Green tea, green tea leaves. Can I, does it? Green tea leaves. Can I plant them like this? Can you not plant? Ooh, I wonder if you can't plant green tea leaves. Okay, so it looks like you can't plant green tea leaves, which I thought you could. It would have been real nice if you actually could. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll plant our carrots, and I guess... The rest will be kind of uh, the wheat over there. We do have our wild berries... Um, I'm thinking just kind of mixing these up with some with some sweet berries around. Like that. There we go, mixing that around. I got some source berries as well. Cool. And we can have a little path that kind of goes through there, too, so we can add something there. Um, and then with these, we can turn into melon slices. Um, plant a couple of these in here. I'm going to say, yeah, just, just the three. Just the three of them. And we have the rice. I think with the rice, we're going to create our own little, do a little pond here, maybe. Maybe. Oh, no. Let's grab a uh, shovel. Boop. And make a little shovel. Shush. A little bit of a pathway that goes through here. Like that. We'll probably put some like gravel and stuff through it as well. kind of like that looks pretty nice pretty nice um i might add probably another couple another source berry there source berry there and the wild berries might be a little bit more useful 
Okay. That's cool. And maybe on... Actually, yeah, on this side we could probably do the, uh... The little pond for our, our rice. Maybe? Does that look... Something like that. Add some cobblestone down here to lock it up slightly. There we go. Yeah, that looks that looks fine. Do something like that, and then we can have get some water. Hello, bear. Source berries over here. Ooh. I'll trim these down a little bit. <laughs> get one more, and then we could start replicating it up. Ow! Stupid source berry bush. Be gone. Don't, don't anger the bear. We don't want to anger the bear. We've already dealt with bears a lot during uh, our other playthroughs of better Minecraft. There we go. And then if we could probably get some um, other plants and stuff to be put in here, that would be great. Now we got some rice growing in there. And honestly, I'm gonna plant some. I'm gonna just place down some of these mini melons. Like, some are kind of hidden and whatnot. Yeah! Little mel mini melons! I love it. This is adorable. Um, cool. So now we've got we've got a little bit of food growing now. We got a little bit of stuff. Um oh, and actually with our sugar cane too, we could probably plant a couple over here. Yeah, something like that. Oh, the chickens got out. Hold on. You need to get back in here. Oh! You grew up. So now I got two full grown chickens in here. Awesome. Let this stuff grow. Flax is growing. Nice. Very nice. And I think with these, you gotta have at least one untilled grass. Yeah, the course with a foot. Maybe it'll go on the course. We'll move that just in case. There we go. Okay. Let's get inside. Get some sleep. Definitely deserve that sleep after a little days uh, worth of hard work. Ooh, bigger stretch for me. Ooh. Cool. All right, so now we got a little bit of crop stuff done. Um, I do now kind of want to get into some crazy stuff. One of those crazy things being Ars Nuevo. Um, we are going to make... Uh, we're gonna make our first thing for Ars Nuevo, which is the book. Bam! The Novice Spellbook. ka -chink. Awesome! We got the Novice Spellbook. So now, we can actually, uh, craft up some very minor spells, and if I remember... That's not it, that's not it. I need to go into the controls and uh, look up what the key binding is for all of this. Um, Ars Nuevo, open book is C. There we go. Cool, so now 
we can, let's see, do touch and break. And we'll just do mining. Click. We have a mining spell and I accidentally, oh. There we go. We have a mining spell. Um, so with this, uh, we now don't really need a stone pickaxe or pickaxes at all because we can just go through and just start mining. Um, let's see, I know there's a cave down here. Or, well, I'll just watch. Woo! So just little little right click and we can mine. Um, so we just got a little bit of copper out of that. So this book, this is going to be our saving grace um, for everything. Uh, we can change the color of our spells. Um, I might even do, yeah, cyan. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, we have familiars. We have sounds. Um, that's the default. Uh, tempestry. That's the tempestry. That's the fire family and the guy family. And that's default. I like the tempestry. Um, I might make it a little bit quieter though. Dynamic lights are turned on. I do like those. Yeah. So yeah. So now we can go mining. Um, so that's gonna help us a lot. Uh, I think the next bit, because we do have gold and diamonds, so we could probably get down to making. Uh, the scribe table. Oh, yeah, you got to be really careful where you click because you're going to break a lot of things with that. Um, okay, so let's see. Let's search up what is next for us. So we have the R's. Uh, N O U. Okay, so that's that should be everything. I only need to put R's. Uh, so next piece is the scribes table. Now, we do have the, which one was it? The blazing archwood. We have gold, and we have the archwood slabs we make out of the blazing archwood. Um, so, taking it from these. And definitely emptying out my inventory a little bit. Oh, get rid of some of this. There we go. And, oh, the gold. We gotta go upstairs to go grab all that gold. So we had a chest there. Didn't have anything. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, everybody, excuse me. This barrel with gold. And up here, we have this barrel with gold as well. Very, very handy. Wasn't there... There's another one. Yes, I almost forgot about that one. Yep, so we got more gold. Bringing this stuff down. And then we can make ourselves the scribe table. So, oh wait, we're going to make the slabs. Blazing arch with slabs. Okay, slabs. Two arch with logs. And two nuggets. The scribes table. Uh, like that. Nope. Other way around. There we go. Bam! Look at that. I think you can just you, know, you have you have to actually click it uh, with your spell book. Uh, but this is where you get to go through and unlock uh, certain abilities. One of the abilities that I had or wanted to bounce is one of them. That's going to be to help travel. Um, the other one to help us travel as well is leap. That is the other one. So we need to make air essence and three wild and wings. Now, obviously, we can't do that quite yet because there's a bunch of other stuff we got to get into. Um, one of those being uh, we need the... Enchanting apparatus, the uh, source jars, agronomic source link. I think that's, yes, this is what we need. But we also need source gems. That's going to be a tough one. Because 
How do you... Oh, that's right. Lapis. Uh, sorry. I'm trying to remember how to get some of this. Uh, so to get the... Enchanting spell turret. What the heck? Going through and looking through all this stuff. Yeah, to make the source gems, you can either use amethyst shards or lapis lazuli uh, and put them in a imbuement chamber. Imbuement chambers are made just like this. Um, so I guess we could go ahead and... Cra Whoa. Whoa. That, the la Whoa. Oh, because it's snowing? That's why... Oh, wow. It is, it's snowing and I don't like it. <laughs> so I'm going to put, oh shoot, we need more, more logs or more planks. So six planks and two of those gives us an imbuement chamber. So these things don't need any sort of uh, power or source. You just leave it there and then you can put lapis lazuli in there or uh, the amethyst shards and they will turn into source gems or you could also go mining to go get source gems as well. Um, those are kind of the two uh, main ways of getting it. Lapis Lazuli, Amethyst, or you can go mining. Um, which I think that's going to be the next bit that we're going to do is we're going to go mining. Because um, we need resources. Um, I also know that we need to start getting some more stuff as far as uh, better storage. Better storage is going to be key, key in all this. But we can get rid of those. Um, even the stone sword, honestly, we can get rid of that too, because we really need that. The book away, the golden apple, quick salmon, put those and those away. We'll keep the bucket on us. And unfortunately, we're going to re equip our chainmail chest plate and our golden helmet because it gives us a little bit more protection but we'll make sure to put the uh, other stuff back on um especially once i once i actually add in the um oh what you call it once i actually add in the uh cosmetics uh mod then we can have all that stuff on us and they won't get damaged or anything so imagine it is snowing right now that is why yep it is snowing. That's why the lag is in very intense. So. How's this stuff doing? Oh, we already got carrots done. I'll expand those a little bit. Okay. Um, but let's go ahead and go down. And we're going to do a tiny bit of mining. Oh, jeez. I'd imagine it is winter since it is snowing. Um, I'm definitely turning that down. That is loud. Let's go to our sounds. Twenty-one. Much better. Yep, and you do you do run out of mana, um, but there are ways to fix that. Uh, one of those being, uh, once we get ourselves, uh, the uh, actual clothing that we need, um, the mage robes, um, then, uh, we'll have enough mana to do this without needing to stop every few seconds. Um, but this will actually, and you can put fortune on this too, sorry, uh, but you can put fortune on this too and, uh, stuff like that. So this is a, it's a really nice mod. This is a, an amazing book. Uh, to definitely start off a playthrough because it's all of your tools in, in one. Now, granted, it can't break obsidian yet. Um, and I don't think it can break diamonds. I don't think it can. Um, but once we do get uh, certain things, um, we can upgrade it. Uh, there's an amplify spell that we can do to actually upgrade it. Which I wanted to see if we can amplify Honestly, we could. Oh, it is bedtime. I'm going to go to bed so this stupid snow can go away. Oh, wow. That lag is still there. And it's gone. Cool. Um, but yeah, we're going we're gonna to grab these diamonds. Three of them. And we're going to... Nope. Where is... I need wood for sticks. I just had a... 
I need to I need to fix my storage because <laughs> we're running around trying to find all this. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And we'll do that. This and three diamonds, three diamonds. That'll give us diamond pickaxe. Um, there's also another one that I want to do too, uh, and it does require a lantern and a torch cutter. Interesting. I need a torch. Okay, so we got a torch. Make the lantern and a regular torch there, and the diamond. Cool. Um, now taking all this to the table, um, we can now do amplify. So we'll select, and you can see there's a little uh, diamond pickaxe up there. Now if you do have a chest nearby, um, it will actually pull the items from those chests and bring them to the table uh, without you even have to touch it or activate anything. As soon as you click select, it'll start bringing things from chests that are nearby. Now granted, this is in my inventory, so I have to physically bring it to it. All you gotta do is throw it, and it will automatically write down the glyph of Amplify. Boom! And then you just right click, and now I know Amplify. Um, did not mean to put red. I think you can right click the table too to place stuff. Um, but there's another one Conjure Mage Light. So this is also a cool one. Yeah, you could just right click it too. Uh, this will allow you to uh, place uh, lights without having to make torches. Boop. So if we go into here, um, I'm going to, so that's my level, my two, my uh, second spell slot. My first spell slot will be the Conjure Mage Light, but I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do a projectile for it, for Conjure Mage Light. And we'll do uh Lumos. Lumos. For that one. It's like the only one that I actually know what that means. Um, we'll also do... Uh, oh, actually, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll fix this one and we'll do Amplify. And now it is Amplified, so now it'll actually be able to break Obsidian uh, and Diamonds and stuff like that. Um, and I also want to do a Projectile of Harm. Um, and I th think... I think that's I think that's what it is. The more amplifies you have, the more mana it takes as well. So I'm gonna do just the harm. Um, oh, actually, I want a spell name for it. Um, what should I call this one? We'll just do harm for now. Harm, no. harm. For now, we'll just do that. Um, and we have the mining one there. So scrolling through it. I'm going to actually go through my controls because I need to mess with a few of these. So sit. Uh, I need to change that. Um, we'll, can I do V? No. V? No. N? N works. There we go. So now I can actually scroll. So Z and X will scroll through my different spells. It does open that. I don't like that either. Keybinds. Um, is it like inventory... I guess I could do this too. Z. Whoa! Hotbar swapper. Reset. Not bound. Perfect. There we go. So now I've got Lumos, Mining, and Harm. And Lumos is very nice. Because again, with these ones, you can also change the light of them. And I think I'm going to go... Can I, actually, green? For Lumos? I think that's, I think that'll work, right? Yeah, we got little green lights. That's really cool. And yeah, we'll put one above there and one above there. So now I got little green lights above everything. Very nice. Um, and they will stay there forever. Um, they don't go away unless you smack them. Um, so you can't hit them to break them, but otherwise they will just stay there. Um, and 
Now, the other thing too, and it, as you can see, with that amplify, it it dampens, um, it d just depletes your mana. Whereas if you don't have it, it lasts a lot longer. It breaks everything. So we'll kind of get rid of all of this stuff up here. Um, there we go. And then we can put a Lumos there, Lumos there. Cool. Hey, there is actual, uh, there's more of these. Cool. Now, only if we could just find ourselves a, uh, what's it called? Some Lapis or some Amethyst, which I think we should be able to find, um, quite soon. Um, if we could find a Geode, that would be awesome, because then we could just use the Geode, um, and grab, uh, you, you just have an infinite supply of Amethyst at that point, so the budding Amethyst. So, get rid of all of these. It's a lot of good food for us, too. There we go. Um, Lumos, again. Now you guys have light up here, too. And I like how all three of these guys are kind of trapped up here, so we can use them uh, for trading and stuff up here and for the ones downstairs as well um i know i said i was gonna go mining but honestly this is probably a good use of our time is getting rid of all this um and showing off what the uh, book can actually do oh, come on yep that's i will say that it, that is one of the irritating points is having to wait for the mana to regen Um, so what I might do is I might do, we'll do some mining in the next episode and we'll bring, uh, some regular pickaxes with us just cause I know this is going to get irritating and it's going to take forever for us to mine. Um, but once we find a couple source berries or not source berries, uh, source gems and we can find some, uh, oh, what's it called? Uh, like lapis lazuli or even a geode, um, then we can get on with, uh, doing a little bit more and actually getting the, what's it called? The, uh, the mage outfit. Um, the mage robes. Like I said, once we get those mage robes, that's going to help us with uh, this mana. Um, but I think... Uh, I'll finish up cleaning this stuff up, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to end it off here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we got our our magic book, our novice spell book. Um, we got uh, a little bit of a farm going down uh, down there. Did a little bit of decorating as well, um, and we cleared out the, uh, the attic spaces, the other floors of our house. Um, so, cleared out all this stuff. Now we have a ton of wheat, um, which is great. Oh! There was another chest in here with six more diamonds. Well, there we go. We have even more diamonds um, than we could have ever wanted. Oh. There you go. You gotta like shift so you don't open it up. Um, there we go. We don't have to. One down here. Yep. Yep. Um, I'm actually gonna put. Sorry put some lights of beer but uh again hope you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like down below um as well as hit that subscribe button it really helps me out uh and again let's find a name for those for the chickens um or let's also go find we need to go find a dog too, get a pet um for them um all that stuff and let me know what else you guys want to see in this um if you guys want to see uh me add like another mod uh, if there's something you guys want me to build or if there's a different series you guys want me to play uh, right now, I do have a Valheim series that I'm still continuing on, um, so you go check that out. Um, but next episode, we're going to go mining uh, and hopefully get some more Ars Nuevo stuff going, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye-bye! <gasps>